सजानंद स्वामी महाराज नी जय थैंक यू अमित भाई दर्शन भाई एंड पार्थ भाई फॉर अ वंडरफुल ऑफरिंग एंड प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ भजन थैंक यू सो मच वी कैन थैंक दैम विथ आर अप्लॉस कृपा करो मुज ऊपर सुख निधि सहजानंद गुण तमारा गाव बा बुद्धिया पजो सुख कंद अक्षर पुरशोतम जे पृथ्वी ऊपर पधारिया अनेक जीव उद्धार करवा मनुष्य तन धारी रया प्रकट पुरशोतम छे सुख रूप सहजानंद मूल अक्षर ये जे स्वामी गुणातीतानंद ए बेवना गुण गावा विचार करे छे मति गति आपो ए अवि फिर फार नव रहे रति गति आपो ए अवि फिर फार नव रहे रति जानन स्वामी महाराज नी जय 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 अक्षर पुरुषोत्तम महाराज नी जय 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 सर्वे गुणातीत स्वरूपों जय 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 प्रकट ब्रह्म स्वरूप काका जी महाराज पप्पा जी महाराज बंधु बेलड़ी शताब्दी पर्व महोत्सव नी जय 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 प्रकट ब्रह्म स्वरूप दिनकर अंकल महाराज प्राकट्य महोत्सव नी जय 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 Today, it's it's really an auspicious occasion this is the time i i think uh, it's been a while we have so many guests visiting us today starting from of course bharat bhai and kishor uncle and harshad dada and jayesh bhai jitu bhai a lot of lot of people from out of town bakul bhai yash bhai chandan bhai punam ben and family atwal uncle and family and i may be forgetting some people but thank you everyone for coming and a big applause for all the people who came out of town every year we we celebrate dingar uncle's birthday and dingar uncle normally gives us a like a slogan or something to focus on and what we have up here is nothing new uh, is nothing that we haven't heard આપણે કોઈ પણ દિનકર અંકલ સાથે સંબંધમાં આવ્યા હશું સત્સંગમાં આવ્યા હશું એમના તો એક વસ્તુ તો પાખી બધાને થઈ જ જાય 
one thing is always that Dingan uncle says that our birth is for two purposes. So many vato pramane. That our birth is for two purposes. To become Brahmrup and serve God. Or being Brahmrup, serve God. Technically, I was raised in 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 Satsang. I was born in Satsang. I you know, had the great fortune of going to Pavai and Tardev and all the different satsangs in Bombay. But I distinctly remember first time when I got introduced, or let, let's not say introduced, but first time I thought and contemplated among this concept of Brahmrup. It was uh, 1999, it was January 13th, my birthday. And I had called Dingaranka for, for his blessings. And uh, Dingaranka said, Ke beta abde, you know. Now, only later do I know that he's, you know, that's his mantra, that's his slogan, that's he says every time, you know, to everyone. But it, the way he said it, the, the occasion, all of that made a big impact on me. And that's when I got really serious and started thinking about what does it mean to be Brahmrup? What does it mean to serve God? And I think that has been the journey since uh, that day, you know. So before we kick off this uh, session, I would uh, humbly request you to join me in um, a practice. In um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to ask everyone to close their eyes, and we will do about a few minutes of, uh, let's say, analytical meditation. You know, that's the term that comes to my mind. You know, and we we will do this meditation. It's a contemplation to sort of seed our you know, consciousness today so that we can enjoy the session, we can enjoy the messages that will be given out today. And our contemplation will be on this slogan that Dinkar Uncle has given and that's also displayed over here, being Brahmru and serve God. Because I think at times it looks like we have heard about it so many times, but we don't pause to think what it is. We don't pause to realize or introspect what it is and what does it mean to be that. So from my limited uh, understanding and from my limited perspective, I will invite you to join me in an analytical meditation exercise. It will be about two to three minutes and then we'll continue. So if I re can request everyone to please uh, close their eyes. Just close your eyes and be just aware and feel present in this moment. Be aware where you're sitting, on the chair, in this hall, and whose presence we are. Now take a deep breath. Hold your breath. And exhale. Again, take a deep breath. Exhale. Deep breath. Exhale. Now with just like a childlike curiosity, just observe your breath. Now we will visualize in front of our, in between the area between our two eyes where Traditionally, is the Agna Chakra. We will visualize there a ball of light, a white radiant light. In that light, we may visualize our loving deity, Bhagavan Swaminarayan, our guru, 
or whoever we believe in. In this light, we'll visualize that this light is full of joy. It has relentless joy. If those who have visited Niagara Falls, how relentless is the fall of water there? That is the joy in this ball of light. In this light, there is calmness, there is stillness, there is bliss in this stillness. For those who have been to Lake Tahoe, or those who have seen the fields of Norway, how calm and still and stable the water is. And this light is full of courage, full of faith and determination. And this light is an ocean of compassion. Of gratitude. of generosity. And above all, in this light is sublime humility, humbleness. Humble in the presence of grandeur. Now we'll take this light and internalize it in the place where our heart is. We'll imagine the ball of light is traversing through our head, down our body, and gets located where the heart is. We'll visualize that all of those qualities Bliss, joy, courage, compassion, humility. They pervade the extreme ends of our body. And with this, we resolve to serve, to serve God, the God we may know, and the one and the people we love. God that is resident in every pore of this existence. We resolve to serve those who need help. We resolve to serve those who are dear and near to us. We serve them to spread the same joy the same compassion that is within us, that has been graced on us. Resolve to solve our Guru. Slowly open our eyes. How does everyone feel? Feel okay? Feel good? Feel great? <laughs> the, the goal of becoming Brahmrup is not something that foreign. The things that we just talked about 
those are inherent in us aa badi je apne vaat kari che e apni andar j rahela guno che pan andar na je avaran che ene bahar nahi aava deta we're quite capable of imagining it because we have felt it because we have seen it that's the way we reason we able to imagine it if not we wouldn't be able to imagine it so these qualities are intrinsic within us and the process of becoming brahmarup is to let this quality manifest and emanate without any hindrance and for that we believe that an association of such of such a person or such such company is as extremely instrumental in getting us there personally we a th- lot, lot of times we talk about in satsang that we have to see our guru with the mahima you know and when we talk about mahima we also talk about a lot of attribution jo mahima ni baat kare apne ek titles aave ki mara guru ne hu brahm swarup manu mara guru ne hu gunatin gunatin swami ne swarup maru mara guru ne hu bhagwan no swarup manu all of these titles we give without their qualitative understanding in a guno na contemplation vagar apne title gani var aapta hoye che and we say ke a keva thi you know i'm accepting my guru to be the highest level you know what i have learned personally from dinkar uncle is all the personally if i think about myself is everyone has a sort of a cornerstone of a personality apna hum ek apna pata nahi je individuality che je personality che enu ek aadhar che as a cornerstone you know someone is mother she is always caring nature you know if someone is uh, you know someone like sapan is always has the attitude of getting it done you know so i'm just generalizing it to very you know basic things but introspect i have introspected what is the cornerstone of my personality and what i realized is that be it because of my upbringing be it because of where i was raised the cornerstone of my personality is that i believe that i am a spiritual being not perfect not someone who has mastered everything not someone who is uh, you know free of any mistakes or faults but a spiritual being cornerstone of my personality is not some is not for something for everyone else you know and in the foundation of my cornerstone personally has been dingar uncle of course has been bharat bhai vashi bhai and this satsang and you all you know they have been the cornerstone of my individuality and my personality and that's the role that dingar uncle has played in my life and i've lived i live to further understand so i i don't the the way i live my life is to not um uh, put an attribution on dinkar uncle but really understand who he is what his qualities are how does he he live how does he maintain will you know we will today a lot of people will be sharing their stories and their experiences with dinkar uncle so i study him like a book you know i study him as if you are a student and you want to study happiness as a student if you want to study spirituality and he's an encyclopedia of that and it's much more than that but that's the, my relationship with him you know that's the way i study him and today we'll be you know listening to a lot of people that also have come to his in association and have been touched in in many ways and will be sharing in those uh those experiences they've had but i would like to leave you with one thought you know if you have come here on the occasion of dinkar uncle dinkar uncle's birthday you don't have to accept him as your guru you don't have to accept him as anything but i would only submit that make an initiative to form a relationship with him and my experience is that that relation with that that step that you take towards forming a relationship towards him is be all in terms of what you will find you will be amazed by that without taking too much time here i realistically too much time here i request 
Nirbik Bhai to come and share the unique aspects of his relationship with Dindar Uncle. Nirbik Bhai, Jai Ho, we'll hand, put the hands together for Jai Ho. <laughs> This bhajan really resonates with me. Ke saban tamaro moreoche sahajma. Thank you very much for being here. Sajan Swami Maharaj Nije. Dinkarankal Pragati Mahot Sauni. Jai Jai Jai. We'll start with the basics. Sugar is sweet. Everyone agrees? Yes. All right. Um, soul has impurities. You know, if you read scriptures, you will know soul has impurities. And by Vachanamrut Swami Nivato, only by the association of Gunati Saint, one can purify the soul. Please consider yourself lucky because we have Gunati Swarup sitting right in front of me, in front of us. Next slide, please. All right, I am going to have goals. Any high school students here? All right. So if you're given a goal of going to Stanford, think about it. Any, any people, anyone who likes traveling? You like traveling? So your goal is to go to Mars, planet Mars. And I think everyone else's goals should be to purify soul, right? Now, how difficult it is. Acceptance rate of Stanford University, not only you have to get the good GPA, but if you have perfect scores, 5%, less than 5%, all right? It's very difficult. Agreed? All right? I don't know how you're going to go to Mars. There's no space shuttle yet. <laughs> yeah. And purify soul by yourself is extremely difficult. It's next to impossible. But here's the trump card. Mr. Mark is the president of Stanford University. If you are associated with him, how easy would it be for you to go into Stanford University? My high school students? Very easy, yeah. And how about Virajji? If you are closely associated with Elon Musk, he is sending a spaceship, 2024. Cost is 200 million, but I mean 200K, but, but it would be easy, right? Now, in the same concept, I have Din Kankal here. Because you're associated with him, it should be not impossible, but possible to purify your soul and go to Akshar Dham. <laughs> and that's why I have to say, Saban Tamaro Mario Sahajma, and I'm very grateful for that. Second slide, I mean, third slide, please. All right, brand. The thing is, we all know that you are a good person, 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 right? What is your brand? What do we reflect, right? Now, I came to know my brand in 2004. Dinkar Uncle, with his blessing, sent me to Motorola to get an internship. I'm sitting in the interview room with two other applicants, very tense, right after graduation, right? This lady is nicely dressed, looks nice. And we spoke, she speaks nice too. So I'm like, she's very charismatic. She's getting the, getting the job. I turn right, there's a, there's a guy, again, not in a suit, but nicely dressed. And when he spoke, he was like bold like our Alpesh Bhai. He's like, I have three years of Java experience. That's all he said. <laughs> I'm like, either this lady or this guy is going to get the, get the internship. What do I have? I saw my suit was like Jason by gave me his suit. You have to wear this suit. My uh, Shrujesh Bhai gave me his folder. Okay, you have to take this folder, you know. And then Pintu Bhai gave me the ride. So I'm like, all I have is, ah, Pintu Bhai, association. Pintu Bhai referred me. So that's the association I have. So I just said proudly, I have 
been recommended by one of the employees of Motorola. Guess what they said? We all have been recommended by someone at Motorola. <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> what do I do? So I said, you know what? It is the sankalp of Dinkarankal that I should get this internship. You know, so I did master key, Somnarayan, 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 and sat there, gave the interview, first answer, wrong. They said, you know, we are not satisfied with your first answer. However, you can try. We already know what we have with the other candidates, you know, so please try. I said, you know, Somnarayan, Somnarayan, Somnarayan. Luckily, I got the internship, you know, with the <laughs> Dinkarankal, right? So I understood my brand is, because whatever happens in my life is with, because of his uncle. So what do I have is his uncle, my association, right? Dinkar uncle's association is our brand. And because of that association, we are so lucky that we are going to go to Akshar Dam, right? <laughs> so we really, that's why I have to say here, you know, so thankful that Saban Apno Moriyoche Bahoj Sahajma. Thank you so much. Last, um, our focus, yeah, 2006. You know, Dinkar Uncle, like, you know, they say, strike it when the iron is hot, right? So I had this two take. Okay, I had a two take, and I was thinking it might be a root canal or what. I didn't, I didn't know, so I was in pain. And I was going to the work, and I was listening to Morning Sabah. You know, people, have, people are focused, right? We all are focused individuals. Good thing I don't see any question marks. I think it looks like we all are focused to keep healthy, right? to earn money, one to 100. I was so focused on curing my toothache that I have to go to doctor, what would doctor say and everything. And then in the morning, Sabah, he said, and, and when he said this sentence, like everything froze. You know, there's like Hindi song, Tham Gaya Asma or whatnot, <laughs> Tham Gaya Zameen, and right? When, so when he said this sentence, everything stopped for me, like where am I am and where I am and everything, all that stopped. And he said, people are so focused to cure physical illness. They go to a top doctor. No one knows that the soul has illness of life and birth. When I heard that, I'm like, I just froze, you know? <laughs> and then Dinkarangal said, only by the association of Gunati Saint, you know, one, I mean, you will know that your soul, I mean, you are, your, your soul has illness of life and death, right? I mean, such a deep thought. Who will give you this kind of guidance? You know, I don't see anyone like you go outside in the world other than satsang that you get this guidance that you are here to become Brahmarup, you know? So again, you know, my heart says, you know, I'm so fortunate and grateful that Apno Saban Amna Satche Sahaj Thank you very much. So I'm going to end with, with our prayer um, that because Apno Saban Amna Marioche Sahaj Ma, May we enjoy and understand your true magnanimity because Abno Saban Maharaja Satsang Ma, Sahaj Ma, we understand your Apno Karta Arta and we see divinity on your devotees. And because Abno Saban Maharaja Sahaj Ma, we want to purify our soul and go to Akshardam. Thank you, Sejan Swimadni Jai.